Me and my wife bought this 100 year old abandoned Norwegian farm 8 years ago. We have slowly brought it back from the state of decay it was left in. Our goal is to create a self-sufficient paradise for us and our kids. To do that we need to increase our food production, so in addition to our vegetable garden and our sheep, we have decided to raise meat chickens. So this is a meat type of chickens that we hatched a few weeks ago. They are getting big now, they are messy, they are smelly and it's time to get them out of there. So the field behind me have seen better days. The nutrition in the ground is really low, the field is full of moss and it doesn't really grow much grass here. And that's a problem for our sheep. But there is a solution that will fix both of these problems at once and that's called a chicken tractor. So a chicken tractor is a chicken house that's open in the bottom and it's movable. And the way it works is that the chickens will roam around in the house kicking up the moss, they will poop a lot and re-fertilize the area that they're on. And after a day or two we will move it. And that way we will be able to re-fertilize this entire field by moving the tractor day by day. So today we are going to build one. So a square construction like this is not very strong. Now if we were building with stronger materials, uh, that would not be a problem. But since we are using such lightweight, weak materials, we need to use some engineering tricks to get this construction stronger. This cross beams makes this wall really sturdy against forces going this way. It's still a bit wobbly this way, but we'll need to fix that later in the build because this house needs to be really sturdy when we are going to drag it along the ground without damaging it. So now I only need to do the other wall. So this chicken tractor is going to be a tall chicken tractor. And the reason why we want that is so that it will be a lot easier when we go in with food, water and if we want to inspect the chickens to see that they are healthy. And also we want to be able to make some purges so they can sit on. And if we made the, the roof at the level where we are now, that would not be possible. They would need to sleep on the ground. And chickens don't really like that. They like to sit on a branch because then they feel secure. And so that means that we need to make an entrance or a door. And that's what we're going to start with now. So while we were building, some really dark clouds with a lot of thunder and lightning and rain came rolling in over us. And so we had to scramble to get all the tools underneath the roof here. Uh, and in my haste I didn't really have time to film much of that. So the rain did stop finally and that was one week later. And the chickens now are getting too big for the cage so we really need to get this finished. So while we were jumping back and forward over the fence with heavy equipment I soon realized that we need a gate because we need to go into them every day to check if they have food and water and to move the chicken tractor so it will be really inconvenient to have to jump over the fence here all the time. Now, I have started a bit on the gate but we need to finish it.
now when we have a good way to get in and out of the building site, it's time to finish this chicken tractor. Because our house is starting to smell like chicken poop. So it's time for a break. So even though the term chicken tractor is a fairly new word when it comes to farming or homesteading, the multi-purpose way of thinking about animals or crops is about as old as farming itself. Ever since humans started farming 10,000 years ago, the goal has always been the same, to get the most out of the land and the animals. Systems was developed to make waste into new resources, like using the waste from animals as fertilizer. That could again be used for growing more food for the animals and the humans. Nothing was wasted. If the farm had a big enough variety, all could be connected into a system. For instance, snails are a problem in most modern gardens. But ducks eat snails, and we can eat the ducks. Farms was living ecosystems that produced very little waste and could sustain the community that worked and lived on the farm. It is not like that anymore. Today's giant farms consist of giant monocultures. For the modern farmer that makes sense as the equipment needed to stay in competition are expensive. While the old tools could be made by hand, the modern machines are sophisticated robots that only giant specialized factories could make. It does therefore not make sense to raise more than one type of animal or crop. The brutal efficiency of raising animals that way seems cold to us. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to throw the modern farmers under the bus here. We consumers are the reason this is happening. Every time you choose a cheap animal product in store, you are at the same time choosing efficiency. That is the only way to get the price down. In the modern economy, based on the free market, where the farmers are forced to compete against each other, or lose their farm, home, and possibly be left with a giant mortgage for the investments, increasing efficiency on behalf of animal welfare is the only outcome. The results are a fact that nobody is talking about. We could not return to the old way of farming even if we wanted to, because those methods are just too inefficient. Since the beginning of the 1900s, we have more than tripled the global population, and so we are just too many, especially the way we are consuming now. We want to do things differently. We may not be saving the world, but we can make good quality food for our kids, while knowing that the animals have a good life while we have them. That itself makes it all worth it. So that was a nice break, but it's time to continue. So my wife came and surprised me with some lunch, but it's a bit difficult to enjoy it as the black flies are really, really annoying. So this is it, the structure is done and it feels really solid, even though it's made of lightweight materials. So now comes the big test. Can we actually lift and drag this? So I do need to make some sort of handles for this. But let's just see how heavy this is. It's not bad at all. So even without wheels I can easily drag this. Now the rest of the constructions won't add as much weight on this. So I think we are good. So the netting is finished and it's time to start on the roof. So I'm planning to use two different materials on the roof. So on the flat part on the top of the roof, I'm planning to use these sheets of clear plastic. I think this will make the house nice and light. So since the clear plastic is a lightweight material, it would be tempting to use it on the sides as well. 
uh, but it would make the house into a greenhouse. It would become really warm in there. So on the sides, I'm planning to use this old tarp. Now that's lightweight and it will give shade for the chicken. So the roof is on and the house is nearly ready for the chickens to move in. Uh, there is already somebody who has moved in here, but unfortunately they need to move again because this is for the chicken. So the only thing we need now, before we can let them out there, is a door. So we are finally done and I'm really happy about this result. Even though it's big, it's still lightweight because of the way that we have built it. Using only lightweight material, but making it really, really sturdy. And it needs to be when you are going to move it around. So the only thing we need to do now is to go and get the chicken. So the chickens are finally in place in the chicken house. They can now run around, they can dig up the moss and they can poop and fertilize the ground. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do to this field. So we will get back to this later. Now, the house itself isn't 100% complete. I still need something to drag this after. And also I have been thinking about some wheels that we could lower down, but for now, I think that this will be okay. But we will get back to this probably in a later video. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video and that you want to continue following us. We have a channel full of videos if you are new to this. So hit that subscribe button, go in and have a look at all the other videos we have. And I will be seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.